Hi, this is Spencer Rundy with the landscape team at Canonical, and I'll be walking you through how to create a repository mirror on one landscape server that I've called it Repo Mirror, and that's going to be used as an app source for another landscape server called Central Command. Central Command is responsible for applying repository profiles to clients that will instruct them to source packages from Repo Mirror. For the purposes of this demo, I've created a very small PPA on Launchpad under my personal account just so that we can sync the repository mirror quickly. So the first step is to set up the repo mirror. Here I'm on the UI for the landscape instance that I've called repo mirror. To set up a repo mirror, we're going to need a couple of GPG keys. We need the public GPG key from the package source. In this case, it's my PPA. And we'll need a signing key that needs both a public and private key, and that's what the repo mirror will use to sign the packages it distributes. So on the repo mirror instance, I've already created a key. And we'll use the ASCII armor option when we export the key here. That's what landscape will expect when we import it later. So let's copy the output. I'll call this one signing key because it's what the repo mirror instance is going to use to sign the packages it distributes. We'll also put this into central command. Next, back on repo mirror, we're going to need the public key from the package source, my PPA. So in Launchpad, that's quite easy. You can download it from the link. I have it pulled up in the text editor here. So we'll copy this and pull it in. Let's call this one mirror key. Now we can create the mirror. We're still on repo mirror here, just in the repository mirrors section. We'll add distribution to start and we'll put it in the global access group. I don't have any additional access groups. That's a feature that Landscape offers. We don't need it for this. And we'll add a mirror. This is a third party mirror. This is the URI for that mirror. You can see that's the same as it is on Launchpad. Jammy for each here. And we'll pick a mirror GPG key. And this GPG key is the signing key. So we use mirror key for the mirror GPG key. That's the public key for this PPA on Launchpad. And the signing key is what we use so that this mirror can sign the packages it distributes. So we've created our mirror, but we haven't yet synced it. So we'll create an activity to sync that mirror. And this will pull down the packages from the PPA. And we can see in the activities tab here that the sync is in progress. So with the repo mirror syncing, let's register a client. I've already installed landscape client on this instance. This is just coming right from the archives. And I'm gonna paste in my registration command, but we can walk through each of these sections. Landscape config is the command that comes with landscape client so that you can register your machine against the server, providing the URL for my central command server. There are two URLs to provide. They're gonna be analogous here, but uh, the message system URL and the ping URL. And you can see that the, the host is the same in each case. I'm also going to provide the certificate for our landscape server. Since I'm doing a demo here, that's just coming right from the machine. So I've just copied this into the same directory over here for the purposes of this demo. And I'm going to include a tag called a repo client here during registration. And that will allow us to apply this repository profile to only some number of client devices that are tagged with this tag. This will bring up the dialog. I'm happy to call it demo client, that's okay. This is a standalone account as opposed to some named account in landscape SAS. There is no registration key because I haven't set one up on my central command server. I'm not using a proxy. We can enable a script execution even though I don't necessarily need it. I don't need anything outside of the defaults for script users and I don't need to provide an access group for this. So we'll request a new registration. And we can see that the system is successfully registered. So back in central command, 
let's accept the instance that came in. And let's create an apt source. Call this mirror key. And we need to give it an apt line. So Debian as opposed to dev source. This is the URL for that other landscape instance repo mirror. Get the distribution and we have the components. We'll verify it with signing key and we'll add it. So now that we've configured the apt source, we can specify a repository profile to use that app source. Call this repo mirror. And we could associate it to all instances, or we can choose to associate it with instances that have a tag on them. Since we passed this repo client tag during registration, it's now here on server as a recognized tag. So why not try it out? And let's select that app source that we added. And we can see that already we are applying the repository profiles and it's applying it to demo client because demo client has the tag that we specified for this repository profile. 